Hey guys, and welcome back to Number Nine Farms. Um, today I'm going to be making a pot roast with a few root vegetables and things. Um, emotions have been running really high. Uh, Skylar and Crystal left this morning, so I've been really sad. And uh, but you know, sometimes you just got to um, you know do all the things you like to do. And today is one of them is cooking and um, I'm going to go ahead and try to get some more earrings made for this weekend's market and some more candles um, ready to go. So let's get started. So what I've got here is the um, Instapot. Uh, I'm going to be um, sauteing and I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, turn it on, start. And so it way it can go ahead and get hot. And then I'm gonna take the roast that I've got here. And it's a roast that we got from Meat Skis is where we've been getting a lot of our beef from. And I, we have not had nothing but wonderful, wonderful things to say about Meat Skis. So Meat Skis is right there in Wisconsin. Um, it's called Pound Wisconsin. But they are online. I don't know if they sell online because I never really checked into that. But Cody had told us about this place and we bought a, a half cow last year and we just used all of it up um, basically uh, right around September. So it didn't quite make it a year, but now, you know, we know um, what to expect. So we bought a little bit more bacon. That wasn't part of the cow, of course, but you know, just so nobody says, hey, what was that? <laughs> But um, it gets hot really fast, so I'm going to go ahead and um, turn that on. And this little Instapot cooker, um, I got this last year for Christmas. I hadn't really, you know, talked about it much. But I'll go ahead and um, braise that on both sides. And then I'll use my um, onion broth to uh, put down in there some of the root vegetables. And if you hear that little noise in the vacuum, I mean in the vacuum, in the background, um, it's a little vacuum that uh, Lexus let me borrow. It's a, one of those little shark type. And it's pretty, I'm pretty amazing. Honestly, it's amazing. I would have never, ever, ever bought one of those things. And um, she let me use it to like kind of like get things since I'm always busy busy so it's all it's trying to knock y'all over <laughs> but uh she let me use it and now I'm convinced although I'm not wi-fi here is not good I can't get videos up from the house even but Bruce bought a booster that doesn't work either um he's done different angles different directions uh so I only when I go to town can I get the videos up but I always like to talk to you guys and you guys make me feel better. And I know that y'all are such great support. And for days like today, when my emotions are really running high, because it's gonna be hard now not having Skylar around because you get accustomed to those people being around and you know, our family members and they, it was so good to see Crystal cause I haven't seen her since February. And before that, I hadn't seen her since um, 2020 and like um, August of that year. And cause last year they had to move from Alabama to Texas and um, Texas, I know is, is just an airplane ride away. But with the move and all and the back, two back surgeries last year, it just wasn't happening. And now I'm so glad that I got to see everybody. And I'm gonna get my hands washed and I will um, be right back. So we'll get some seasonings on this. I like to use like the uh, rosemary that I recently dehydrated uh, several times this year and I cut up, which so. I use the rosemary and then I have a little bit of oregano even though, but I don't use a whole lot and you can see the difference on like some oregano that was already in the jar versus the one I did. It's a big difference. 
So I'm gonna bring you in close so you can see really close up. Let me see here. Look at that. It does such a great job. I don't even know, I haven't even checked to see if these are still available. But um, once we got here last year, um, Bruce had bought this for me for Christmas. And we don't really ever get Christmas presents, but he, since it was close to Christmas, he's like, yeah, that can be your Christmas present. So anything that makes life easy and convenient when um, you're a busy mom and I work basically full time um, between running back and forth to uh, Escanaba for the kitchen to cook in and everything. And uh, it, believe it or not, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot. And we right now I have eight double batches of uh, cucumbers um, to do and to uh, add food. Well, you know I never preheat things. <laughs> So it's searing now. Oh, but anyways, anyway, the pick, the pickles. So we got to go can those, and um, there are eight double batches. And let's see, this time it's some of the good stuff, some of the the favorites. We have two big shows um coming up that are really huge, and uh one that I recently added to but we'll still be at the farmers market in Marquette so but anyways let me see here about where we are on this before I go down and get some of the stuff out of the basement that's going to go in there and we'll check it out Ooh, no wonder I couldn't find those those were in here when when there's a bunch of different people doing the dishes, things don't always turn into the where you expect them to do. Almost getting there, but look, you can see where it started browning. And um, I'm gonna cook it in here today. But last time I cut, I had something else I wanted to tell y'all. So um, last time I was on Saturday everybody was here and the uh Alexis we were getting ready to make some brownies for the boys while I went to try to turn the oven on well in the meantime Alexis is like got burnt on the oven and I was like you know just thinking it was just hot you know I, I didn't think that it was like you know how it is is sometimes something's hot and you hit it and you're like oh that was really hot well apparently it was really hot and like hot enough to burn you and the stove completely died and went out so here we haven't even been here a year and the stove is gone and it, it was brand new because bruce had never hooked it had never been it like hooked up and everything to things like where it was supposed to be and it's like Bruce had to run all the exhaust, all the vents, do all the work for it. We had to buy all the, the electrical components, all that stuff for it. And it was, come to find out, it was a 2014 um, stove, which maybe they had, it was old stock. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe it had been sitting here all that time. I have no clue. But uh, it was not um, used at all. So it didn't even last a year and even the dials like on the microwave they don't work so I'm feeling like somebody must have like bought maybe something that was uh, maybe like in the scratch and dent or something I have no clue I'm just guessing but anyways the so now I'm, I'm without an oven and I do have the one in there in the other room that's a little gas, but that one is not very, very good at all. In fact, I think it's just overused and it probably needs all new things inside. But I have my stove from my um, grandma's, but since Draco was here, which he left today too, and it was hard because I called Draco to come eat. And I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna really miss him. And when you've had a dog at your house, which I know people that keep dogs, like baby, I'm not babysit, but um, like foster, it's hard. It really is. And 
until you've, you've lived it and, and done it, you really just don't know. Oh yeah, it's looking beautiful over here. So anyways, I've got to get a new stove. Well, we've been calling everywhere. And of course, Bruce, he's calling it the unicorn. <laughs> so when he got off the phone, Bruce said, um, I said, what's wrong? He said, I'm just going to go ahead and get my unicorn hat on. I was like, what do you mean your unicorn hat? He said, because I'm going to have to go hunt for unicorns <laughs> because he can't find um, the stove that we're looking for. And because I want it to be just like the one at the old house. <laughs> Enjoy that, Nina, because honestly, with all the different ones I've used at cottages and places, that one was the best. So, um, so we're going to be keep looking out for that. If you guys know of any place that we could get something or know of place, because... Um, I was going to cook this roast last night and I was like, oh, so I got down my, um, what do you call them? Like the, these kind of pans, the same pan, this one's cooking in. I can't even think of it. Not like, like, um, roaster, roasting pan. And, uh, I was like, come outside. I was like, oh my goodness. I can't, you, I can't bake it. Cause I would put it on for two hours with all the root vegetables. No way, the oven's gone. And the other oven literally took like an hour and 10 minutes to cook brownie, a little eight by eight um, dish of brownies, so that's out. I'm sorry I'm chatty Kathy today, but I just needed somebody to talk to for y'all. So, look at that. You see how nice and brown it is? All right, so I switched it now to the um, slow cook method. So probably, yeah, four hours will be good start. So I've got the onion broth here that I went down and um, got out of the uh, basement. And of course, why am I having so much trouble with this? Because you have it upside down. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of, uh, these are the root vegetables I was talking about. Well, there's the, in Marquette, there's the co-op and this little company here, or it's a farm, but uh, they have these ready to uh, cook root vegetables. I buy, it's parsnips. I buy carrots at the um, farmer's market every week anyway. Because I, I want to make sure that my carrots aren't, uh-oh, radiated. From, and these are the, uh, the turnips, more parsnips. And I'll go get some potatoes, too. Well, anyways, I'll be back with the potatoes. Mm -hmm. There you have it. And I put some chestnut mushrooms in there that I got at the farmer's market this weekend. Um, they are cultivated, but they're absolutely beautiful. I put a couple of our green peppers in there because I have plenty of them. I put some of the small onions in there. And the potatoes, these are our potatoes. And this weekend when... Um, the little boys were here and we were having potatoes which everybody loved the potatoes of course the big ones the little boy said they're so dirty eh. <laughs> i got the biggest chuckle out of it always make sure that you save all your onion scraps and things so that you can put it in your vegetable broth um just kind of sit throw them all together in a freezer bag i what i do i save them all and then I also do that for my um, bone broths and my um, vegetable stock. Also, if I end up making some onion broth, which is what I use today, 
in here. I, I just save a lot of the peelings and things and put that in there too. And that way, when it comes time to canning up, and usually I'll do like 30 to 50, um, the onions I do in the pints, because a lot of times I'll just use this for rice. You'll want to, um, I do those in the pints, and then I do the quarts and for all the broth. And uh, one day when I was posting it um, on Snapchat, I my son-in-law asked Alexis, she, he said, what do you use all this stock for that she's canning? And um, cause I'll say like 54 jars or whatever, that's how many I got done. And my daughter says, um, she uses it to cook with, but I thought it was funny he would ask that. <laughs> Love you, Garrett. Well guys, while the roast cooks, I'm out for a little walk. Um, I come walking all the time and I didn't know how emotional it was going to make me feel today. Um, coming because every day me and Skylar went on this walk and I never realized, you know, when you're, when you don't have your little companion to go with, how much, how lonely you feel about her. But <sighs> her and mom, are having a good time um and I know all her little friends at school missed her the teachers principal the ladies in the office um Miss Pat but uh they um they mom was getting her hair done in Milwaukee today she went and stayed with a friend um that she was over in Germany the last time I had Skylar so, anyways, but these are some of the trees that um, I get the maple syrup from during the uh, early spring months, or what I should say, late winter. So, early. But I can't, I'm looking forward to this year for that. Um, I'm going to have a much better season, I hope. Um then last year I got, so far we still have maple syrup, which is a wonderful thing. And I sent some to Colton and Cody, or Cody picked it up. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to take y'all along on this little walk every day that I take. And uh, one day when I was walking, a porcupine was in the um the path and uh boy I was like all of a sudden what's that smell oh yeah it's some very musty smell so anyways he went on about his business and me and Skylar went back and got Julie just in case we couldn't get by or something and uh he he went on or she so and Julie had a ball but anyways I'll see you back in the house well she's done let's see what it looks like whoa it looks so good and I got rice with it too all right well let's see mmm yummy rice Look at the meat. You see how nice it cooks. This thing does an incredible job. It really does. I don't think we're going to worry about actually using a knife, do we? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's amazing. What a good job it does. And there was a little help behind it. Oh, I know that. <laughs> I get a little something, something, right? Yes, you do. You get all the credit, me lady. Hmm. All right, guys. What do you say, Bruce? I say it looks incredible. My princess has done it again. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.